Welcome to the Thrifty Titans podcast, your ultimate destination for razor sharp brand building and media insights. We bring you the wisdom of the most badass founders, media mavericks, indie hackers and content creators in the whole wide world and help you grow your business and your audience without losing your mind or breaking the bank. Join the ranks of the Thrifty Titans and together Let's build something extraordinary. Hi, I'm Sekhat, marketer, creative, and media nerd. Welcome to the You Incorporated podcast. On this show, I catch up with some of the most badass founders, business leaders, and content creators in the whole wide world. Whether you're a marketer, creative, or a budding founder, If you want to build your brand, your voice, your way, you're in the right place. Join me on the You Incorporated podcast and start building your empire. Here we go. Please join me in welcoming Gaurav, the co-founder of Uber.ai, India's first AI-powered music licensing platform that's focused on solving a billion dollar problem faced by content creators and businesses every day. And that problem is discovering and licensing the right music for their videos. While Hooper is catering to the demand for licensed music, it also offers a massive opportunity for thousands of indie musicians to be able to monetize their music. Welcome to the show, Gaurav. Thank you so much, Saigat. When you look at the indie music scene in India, Lija Misra, Rithwes, Nuclear, Shirley Sethi, the list is growing longer by the day. What is leading this resurgence of indie music creators in India? Great question, Saigat. I think one has to recognize the fact music production has become very democratized. Okay, it's never been easier to actually produce music and to make songs. Literally, today a youngster sitting in his or her bedroom and turning out songs. It's not easy. Right? There are you know, production workstations and softwares like Logic Pro, GarageBand so comes loaded with a MacBook today. There's also very easy to use platforms like Ableton Live. And I think one of the big things that happened, it was happening over the last four to five years, but during the pandemic, what really got accelerated is a lot of youngsters who started learning music for me. Now, a lot of them also have started literally getting into these kind of music tools or music editing, recording gear has become affordable. So at one primary level, I think over the last five to ten years, music production became very democratic. I remember the time when I finished my MBA and got into music full time. So I had to do that simply because there was no home studio set up at that time. You had to either access a large studio to become a music creator or then you had to, couldn't really follow your passion. There was no part-time stuff. Right? So first of all, it was I think over the last seven to eight years, the entire uh, proliferation and popularity of say YouTube videos, seeing so many artists sitting and creating songs from the comfort of their home. How many so artists have made I would say popular with the Shirley Setia, Sanam and all these guys who started becoming very popular with covers and then came the wave of indie artists like say and so on. So that has inspired a lot of music creators and I think there's also a certain relatability angle that many of these artists have. I think Pradeep Kuhar has always been himself unapologetically. There is no just being himself with his guitar and letting his songs do the talking. I think that has connected a lot with Millions of youngsters with their guitars or their home setups and they all think that I can do it too. So at a fundamental level, I think these are few of the thoughts that come to my mind when I think of how has the ED ecosystem become so big and so popular. Imagine I am a 19-year-old budding indie music artist and I have an mp3 file in which I have created a song of my own with my own vocals. Could you give me a simple blueprint about how I can distribute this music all by myself? So, my first advice was that MP3 is not wave bounce. Please go back to your, your workstation and get a 
चलो मान लो इवन इफ यू हैव एन एमपी थ्री एंड इट साउंडिंग गुड इन टू स्ट्रेट अप थिंग्स दैट कैन बी डन एक तो इस गाने को आप यूट्यूब पे अपलोड कर सकते हो विथ और विदाउट अ वीडियो अर्लियर दे वॉज दैट थॉट की वन नीड्स टू हैव सम सॉर्ट ऑफ अ विजुअल और वीडियो बट टूडे इवन इफ इट्स अ नाइस आर्ट वर्क और अ नाइस ग्राफिकल लिरिकल वीडियो तो सबसे पहले ये करें सो दैट यू नो यू कैन रीच आउट टू द मिलियंस हंड्रेड्स ऑफ मिलियंस ऑफ पीपल हु आर कंज्यूमिंग म्यूजिक थ्रू यू The other thing that you obviously need to do is have a presence on streaming platforms. And in fact, I think in my in the question you asked me, it's very important to say that a lot of these indie artists have been discovered through the streaming platforms. You know, the algorithms, Spotify, K, O, G, A, Y, S, G, O, S, T, A, V, and Wink, and so on. So the the way to distribute it to all of these streaming platforms or DSPs, as they are called. is through a music distribution service so there are plenty of them in the market service platforms like a distro kid cd baby tune core chorus believe har var ke hain music distribution ke liye jo do models hote hain either they take up of or a revenue share of the revenues that your song makes or then sometimes they take an upfront fee for every upload Okay, choose whatever is comfortable for you, and go ahead and make sure that your song is across all streaming platforms. Tag it. Understand that my genre is, sub genre is, mood is. Tag your song well so that there's a higher probability of your song being discovered by the right or playlist. The other thing that I would really advise musicians is to make sure that you you're performing as much as possible, be it right. on ground activities, whether it's a simple pub where you can get. You know, hands hands dirty and start performing. You get lucky, play an opening act, college fest. But yeah, be present, play everywhere. I remember when my album came out, I was literally playing every single college fest. I also got a great chance to open for Shankar Asan Loy once at IIT Bombay, and that gave me a lot of exposure. So, ये सारी चीजें कर करना चाहिए. And then, of course, there is social media. You just you're creating reels, you're creating. Communicating with your audience, so yes, all these things are. Most artists get a little lazy sometimes in one or two of these areas, but the truth is, here whatever it is, you want to make sure that people in today's times, where you want to make sure that you are connecting with your audience. So these are the three four things you can do if you are sitting today with an audio track and you want to release. At least basic, lovely. Stick to the basic. Or basic, बनाते हैं इसको. Imagine I am somebody who is interested in music. Could you give me the example of a very simple, like the bare bones media production setup? Could you give me an example and a very average sort of a cost structure for how much money I need to have in the bank to be able to afford this setup? We'll need a workstation that comes along with, which is on your laptop or a desktop. If you're using a Mac. तो गैराज बैंड आपके पास ऑलरेडी प्री लोडेड आता है और यू कैन देन मूव टू लॉजिक प्रो आई हैव ऑलवेज यूज लॉजिक प्रो सो आई एम वेरी फैमिलियर विद दैट लॉजिक कुछ 10 12000 या 15000 का आता था आई डोंट नो आप कितने का आता है बट इट्स वर्थ इट राइट बिकॉज़ इट गिव्स यू ऑल सॉर्ट्स ऑफ टूल्स टू प्रोड्यूस म्यूजिक द ऑप्शंस आर एबिलिटन क्यूबेस नोएंडो और इंडिया में तो यार पहले तो ना अभी वेरी ऑफिस लोग क्रैक करके ही स्टार्ट करते हैं हर एक बंदा जो है मैं तो किसी को नहीं मिला आज तक जिससे म्यूजिक प्रोडक्शन देर आर लॉट ऑफ ट्राई बिफोर यू बाय ऑफर्स दैट दिस प्लेटफॉर्म्स ऑफ सो ट्राई एंड गेट योर हैंड्स डर्टी स्टार्ट प्रोड्यूसिंग यूजिंग वन ऑफ दिस वर्क स्टेशंस इसी के अंदर सारे लूप्स आते हैं प्लगइन्स आते हैं तो मोस्ट ऑफ दिस गुड वर्क स्टेशंस सेन एपलटन क्यूबेस लॉजिक क्यूबेस ऑफ कोर्स यू नीड प्लगइन बट एट लीस्ट लॉजिक कम्स विद अ लॉट ऑफ इनपुट साउंड टू ट्रिगर दिस साउंड्स यू विल आल्सो नीड अ मिडी कीबोर्ड So there are many good companies that start with, say, M Audio is a fantastic company, a beginner MIDI keyboard. So you want to play chords, you want to make some simple arpeggios, or you want to play something to record over. That is needed. One more thing, like that's needed. I'm sure you must be having it your end. It comes with a sound card, right, or a sound interface. Because when you want to record your voice through a mic, many of these vocal files, the sample rate is pretty high. To be able to handle it. जो अपने कंप्यूटर का इनबिल्ट साउंड कार्ड या साउंड इंटरफेस होता है स्ट्रगल्स राइट सो यू नीड अ साउंड इंटरफेस अगेन अगेन देर आर मेनी कंपनीज हियर दैट प्रोवाइड ग्रेट साउंड इंटरफेसेस स्पेशली फॉर बिगिनर्स आई थिंक फोकस राइट स्कारलेट इज अ वेरी पॉपुलर साउंड कार्ड एंड देर ऑफ कोर्स गेट अ गुड माइक्रोफोन आई देर अ डायनामिक माइक लाइक एन एस एन फिफ्टी एट वो टू 
और देन कंडेंसर ले लो अगर थोड़े से और पैसे हैं एस एम फिफ्टी एट आपका पांच दस हजार में आएगा कंडेंसर जैसे रोड एंटी टू ए वॉज द फर्स्ट कंडेंसर माई आई बॉड मैंने बीस हजार का लिया था ये बैक इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेल्व एंड देन ग्रेजुअली मूव डॉन बॉट एन ए के जी सी फोर वन फोर तो ये कुछ पचास साठ हजार का माइक है बट दिस इज अ ग्रेट वन इफ यू आर अ गुड सिंगर देन यू डिजर्व इट बट वन थिंग आई मस्ट सेल यू बिफोर एंड ऑफकोर्स यू विल गेट योर स्टूडियो मॉनिटर्स लाइक यामा है एच एस फाइव इज गुड अगेन एम ऑडियो इज ग्रेट और देन जस्ट गेट अ गुड पेयर ऑफ हेडफोन्स इजर क्या आते हैं ए के जी क्या आते हैं बट वन ऑफ द थिंग इज अपना जो रूम है जहाँ पे यू आर प्रोड्यूसिंग म्यूजिक उसको थोड़ा सा ट्रीट कर I think a lot of singers they make this big mistake कि ये सब खरीदते हैं और रूम वैसे है कि वैसे ही छोड़ देते हैं वो तो होता ये है कि देर इज अ लॉर्ड ऑफ रिवर्बरेशन एंड अ लॉर्ड ऑफ रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ द साउंड वेव्स फ्रॉम द वॉल्स सो एक सिंपल सा बेसिक स्टीप अ सिंपल बेसिक एक बॉक्स फोम पैड्स लगा लो कुछ लोग और भी क्रिएटिव मैंने देखे हैं पर्दे लगाते हैं मोटे मोटे दैट इज ऑल्सो गुड But anything that that sort of makes your room a little less reflective, you've got a good setup. मुझे लगता है ये ये सारा setup, of course computer का भी, but I think I would say anywhere between a couple of lakh, maybe a lakh to a couple of lakh to two and a half lakh. But it's an investment. मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि before anybody buys all this, at least दो या चार बार अपने दोस्तों के पास जिनके पास setups होते हैं या कभी कोई studio में चले गए. जैसे मैंने मेरा सेटअप जब बनाया मैं ऑलरेडी दो, दोस्तों के यहाँ यूज कर रहा था तो थोड़ा सा मुझे आइडिया आ गया था एंड आई हैड अ गुड आइडिया कि मैं क्या प्रोड्यूस कर सकता हूँ क्या रिकॉर्ड कर सकता हूँ ग्रेजुअली पार्ट बाय पार्ट एक एक करके एक स्टार्ट एडिंग नाइस लेट्स स्पीक अबाउट नॉन म्यूजिक एवेन्यूज फॉर म्यूजिक क्रिएटर्स मतलब अगर सॉन्ग्स को मोनिटाइज हम नहीं कर रहे हैं I've just created a background score that I really like. What are some of the monetization avenues for indie creators? So there are many ways now that are coming up for music producers or music creators who want to monetize their IP, so to say. Cooper is a great example. Let's say if you are a music producer and you want people, say content creators, to license your track to use in their blogs, podcasts, or live streams. or you want say a brand to use it in their branded content or influencer activity then hopper is a fantastic to have multiple people license your music and pay you for it right and this is of course if you are a music producer who is creating songs or background scores for the purpose of synchronization so sync licensing music producers can activate revenue and internationally so there are multiple whole legacy platforms that were there i've personally known music producers who have made millions to think licensing literally and dollars i'm talking about millions of dollars through sync licensing so india mein thoda sa naya hai but it's great if you are a new music creator you should read about it and check out hooper the other thing is you can always sell your beats on multiple platforms currently on hooper we don't allow that but there are platforms that allow you just maybe sell your beat or put up your beat for licensing i know there's beats as if you're a vocalist i have seen this platform international platform called vocal pie that you can put up your vocals and somebody can license it over there multiple collaboration tools are coming up so this is also an exciting space which people can do i think there is also ample opportunity to work for hire matlab let's say if you are a music producer you are not an artist who is performing live or who is trying to earn money from let's say his or her streams and so on i think the good old stuff of working with say production houses working with ot platforms there are so many audio books platforms that are coming up so music production ka to har ek jagah requirement hai if you are a music creator and you are good at your work then i think there are multiple different ways by which you can monetize your talent without necessarily being a songwriter nfts i'll be very honest with you i do not have so much experience in that particular space things i have or knowledge i have is what i have read or seen a few friends develop platforms in the space uh but there there is an opportunity here if you create good music put out non fungible tokens if people are willing to invest in you i think that also might be that in the future nice we can't speak about any content without speaking about ip misuse social media pe to qatal rampant mb it linkedin instagram or otherwise what do you think is the future of how creators can safeguard their ip especially music creators because quite naturally when let's say it gets picked up by instagram and added 
so many creators have benefited from some of their music going viral right but yeah. sometimes the channel from which via which it goes viral might not be the most legitimate one how do you see the future of how creators can safeguard their ips going forward um this is a great question sir absolutely i think right now we are in that stage where social media is probably just a little over a decade old and maturing and there is just a lot of excitement about everybody want put up on collaborate kar rahe hain remix kar rahe hain and there is a whole wave puri going on i think what every part he is excited about is chalo mera kuch viral chala gaya and i got exposure out and they tend to link it to then different ways of monetizing say a creator popular ho jata hai to wants to monetize through brand deals and musicians also then typically tend to go to gigs even if they didn't earn anything out of their viral video and we've seen so many such stories on every i had about 15 20 million views and i'm talking about back in 2016 18 but barely any money made through those covers because they themselves were made without any label function so i was very happy because chalo ek recognition mil gaya shows chalu ho gaye aapke so you don't care so much about monetizing anything that you've made but gradually what is happening is digital rights management on platforms is becoming better stronger i think youtube is the leading platform for it and a large part of the onus lies on the platform youtube for example has content id and they are able to understand who is the original copyright owner who is the user of this particular track and what action to be taken does the money go to the copyright owner does the money get split between the two and i think they are the ones who have at least created this entire drm tool properly most other short format platforms wahan to boss it's a mess and it's a mess right from the part where a lot of the the thinking of philosophy of these platforms is here for usage of music and so on so that needs to change fundamentally musicians are even today not able to really copyright their tracks so easily india made it's a very cumbersome process to copyright your music audio fingerprinting tools are also still maturing and there are a few phenomenal platforms here in audible magic but yet i can't say that there's any platform or any tool which is absolutely there to safeguard the user a lot depends upon the platforms that are allowing such collaborations this is the way youtube has built a content id and to their end when the musicians are creating tracks i'm sure there will be some new routes and tools that emerge which allow them to copyright their melody their lyrics or some sort of an audio fingerprint it's something that's evolving no clear answer right now but hopefully in the next couple of years i think you will see a lot of gorav have saved the best for the last imagine somebody was interested in being a music producer part time matlab usko kabhi full time karna hi nahi hai usko isko as a hobby karna hai as a side hustle karna hai likely just as a way to express themselves but the condition for this person is i will save every freaking last penny that i can while okay. still wanting to pursue my hobby as a music producer तो जहां कहीं भी मैं पैसा बचा सकू मेरे पास एक लैपटॉप है सोच लो मेरे पास एक मैक है विच मीन मेरे पास गराज बैंड है तो वॉट इज द मोस्ट स्ट्रिप्ट डाउन वर्जन लाइक नियर फ्री वर्जन दैट आई कैन स्टिल बी अ म्यूजिक प्रोड्यूसर वेर कैन आई लर्न म्यूजिक प्रोडक्शन नंबर वन एंड वेन कैन आई देन स्टार्ट पॉपुलेटिंग माई कॉन्टेंट फॉर फ्री और लाइक नियर फ्री मतलब नियर फ्री भी चलेगा बट मतलब फंडामेंटल इज मेरे को पैसा नहीं खर्च मतलब एकदम ही नहीं होपफुली ओके सो म्यूजिक हर बंदा जो जिन जाता है वो बॉडी बिल्डर बनने या Actually, बनने नहीं जाता यू कैन जस्ट गो दे टू फील फिट एंड फील गुड टू सॉन्स म्यूजिक रिलीज करने से पहले सीखना तो पड़ेगा इफ यू वॉन्ट टू लर्न इट एंड यू वॉन्ट ऑन योर स्किल्स आई थिंक बेटर अगर फ्री है पैसा नहीं खर्च करना है तो पॉसिबली यूट्यूब इज द बेस्ट रिसोर्स बेस्ट गो टू आई वुड से रिसोर्स टू लर्न एनीथिंग टू डू विद म्यूजिक वेदर इट इज playing guitar singing music production mixing mastering anything editing sab kuch hai us pe and 
एब्सोल्युटली फैंटेस्टिक ट्यूटोरियल आर एयर ऑन यू राइट तो इससे बड़ा फ्री रिसोर्स आपका कुछ हो नहीं सकता आप फ्री में देखो एड इज दर्टाइजिंग कंपनी So go for it and a sort of jitna knowledge. But when it comes to putting out music, so if you have a MacBook, up to at least one lakh to khurs kari liye hain getting a piece of equipment there and you've got garage band. I have seen people and we've had some submissions which are quite good, upper pe where they did not use any professional grade microphone or anything like that. They just recorded it literally on the microphone in the computer. Okay, I wouldn't advise that. Uh, बट लोगों ने किया है बहुत सारे लोग आजकल अपने फोन्स का जो रिकॉर्डर होता है वो भी यूज करते हैं आई फोन हैज अ फैंटेस्टिक रिकॉर्डर एंड सो डू मेनी एंड्रॉइड फोन्स मैंने बहुत सारे वॉइस ओवर्स देखे हैं जो फोन पे रिकॉर्ड होकर डिजिटल एड में रिलीज हुए हैं ठीक है तो चलो आपने अपना वॉइस आपको रिकॉर्ड करना है तो आप इस पे कर लो आपको वॉइस रिकॉर्डिंग के लिए यू नीड सम सॉर्ट ऑफ अ बैकिंग सो देर आर मेनी टूल्स दैट कम इन दे गिव यू आई दर अ बेड लाइक अ स्ट्रिंग्स बेड टेन पैड तानपुरा एंड क्लिक राइट तो आप बेसिक हेडफोन लगा लो अपने अपने फोन पे आपका वोकल हो गया आपको अगर बैकिंग ट्रैक चाहिए तो वो भी आपको मिल जाएगा काफी सस्ते में ऊपर तो ऑफकोर्स विल नॉट अलाउ यू टू क्रिएट डेरेवेटिव नाउ यू कैन स्टिल ग्रैप ट्रैक्स फॉर एज लेस मे बी ए फ्यू हंड्रेड बर्ग्स ऑन मल्टीपल साइट तो आपका ट्रैक शॉर्ट हो गया क्रिएटिविटी तो आपके दिमाग में होनी चाहिए तो यू नो वो वो उसका एक्स्ट्रा खर्चा नहीं है and record your voice here mixing mastering ke liye again there are platforms which do it for cheap you can use some plugins but i feel that uh, you know kuch nahi to ek ek basic mix master apne workstation pe aap kar lo ya fir ek lander wagera kind of a product aap use kar sakte ho to yaar ho sakta hai matlab just in a few thousand bucks you should be able to put out a track how good it is of course is something that people will decide but in today's day and age of consumption I must say, ऐसा कुछ नहीं रहा कि यार only if it is a uh, phenomenal master and a mix will it be a hit. मतलब Instagram वगैरह पे तो anything blows up. कच्चा बादाम बंदे ने रस्ते पे गाया था, you know peanut भेज रहा था, वो भी चल गया. So it's about how entertaining you are and how good you are, how much your creation is connecting either emotionally or in some way with people. Right. तो तो बन तो सकता है. There is no, there is nothing कि आपको ये सब आपको stay high and higher चाहिए. as you progress as you become better and better it does make sense because you know just like anything else aapko body banani kabhi na kabhi to aapko gym jana padega aane pad so वैसे ही है कि at some point in time at least plan for an investment so that in one year at a time but possible to start without much investment on that inspiring note it's a wrap thank you so much for being on the podcast gaurav really appreciated you taking time out for this My pleasure, Sekka. Thank you so much, Bhai. Guys, please do tune in next week for the next episode of the UN Cooperated Podcast. See ya. Thank you for tuning into the UN Cooperated Podcast with me, Sekka. Please follow, rate, and review us on Spotify and Apple Podcasts, and share our episodes far and wide. You can also sign up for our free U Incorporated newsletter on our website theuink.co and send us your suggestions at hi at the rate theuink.co. We have all the links in our show notes. Catch you in the next episode. Thank you for joining us on the Thrifty Titans podcast. I sincerely hope we were able to bring you one step closer to building and growing your venture. If you found our show useful, remember to follow, rate and review us on Spotify and Apple Podcasts and share our episodes far and wide. It means the world to me and my team. Follow us on LinkedIn and Instagram and don't forget to sign up for our free newsletter. at join.thriftytitans.co we have all the links available in our show notes welcome again to the ranks of the thrifty titans tribe we're really excited to have you on board